Hello everyone, my name is Alberto and welcome back to my channel. So I really wanted to show you quickly in this video the process that goes into making a baseball hat. We start from this very sturdy fabric, it's an upholstery fabric. Uh, we have a brim and a sweatband made for hats, um, which is basically a bias sort of tape with some padding in. And the brim is a light plastic. So the fabric could be everything. I started with this very thick one just because it gives it more of that sort of sturdy effect. And I'm tracing uh, the brim with regular marker. Doesn't really matter because it's, it's not going to go through the fabric in this case. And I'm cutting the part of the brim that I'm going to use for the fabric. Uh, the only thing is that we're going to make one part slightly smaller, about 0.5 centimeters smaller, because that way we're going to move the seam towards one side of the brim, so it's not going to be in the middle. And it's going to be, it's going to look neater and prettier. So then we just sew it together at, again, the sewing allowance that we want. And we're gonna put the brim in and to keep it tight we're gonna stitch it very very close to the edge with uh, something like a zipper foot and then we're gonna do our little top stitching which is mostly decorative so you can do the patterns you want in this case i just did some simple lines and then we're gonna move on to making the body of the hat the front has a very strong um adhesive on an interfacing adhesive interfacing and we're just gonna close the little this i i sort of made the pattern myself um but you can basically get one from a hat that you own for example just sort of trace it uh the only trick in here is that you're gonna have all these different panels and the best easiest way to do it is sort of do two halves of the hat that you're going to join after because all the seams are going to be trimmed like this for ease and then i used this very simple bias tape uh, to cover them and get a good finish you could just overlock them stitch them down but this gives a more sort of professional look um, and in order to do this easily uh, you can do it on all the panel joints uh, in two halves and then you're gonna do a continuous one where you join all of them and this is just top stitched uh, you can do it from the outside or inside as you prefer just try to keep it very straight and uh, to not to catch it in the seam, especially if you do it from the outside, is a bit more difficult. And then when you all join all of them, as you can see, you only have to do one continuous um, tape on the new join. And that basically goes to cover all the other parts you just did. Uh, I also use the bias tape to the cover the opening in the back, so it's nice and finished that way. Uh, you have different options as an opening, but I'll show you what I did. First of all, though, I'm attaching the brim to the front. Uh, again, using a zipper foot or something that allows us to go very, very close. And after that, we're going to attach our sweatband. Now, the sweatband is basically top stitched from the outside, so you turn inside uh, your sewing allowance and then you top stitch on the edge making sure again that you catch the sweatband on the inside and that's the only finish we're gonna have like so and you could use ready-made closures I decided to basically make a small tape like piece with the fabric uh, turn it inside out after trimming the seam and then placing some velcro on it so basically you turn it inside out uh, top stitch it 
and then I have these pieces of velcro that I'm just stitching on top of the little tape I made like so and I'm folding the end in so it's finished on the edge as well and then folding in the sweatband to cover it we get a nicely finished edge and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and that's it uh, I hope this was interesting for you I know it was very quick um, hope you liked it if you did please leave a like and subscribe it's a great help and I'll see you next time bye have a great day